How are we doing guys? Steve here with uh, AmpiFI, DIY Auto-Tune, and today we are working on Project Fox Body 41. Now, this car is piloted by a local team of guys who run with us uh, occasionally when we're out with Jayzilla, and they've been having some problems with high RPM breakup, and it's ruined quite a few of their track days. Now, before they brought the car into us, they were not running our products. They were using a brand X ECU. Uh, what we've done is we've created a jumper harness um, from the brand X ECU to one of our prototypes. And what we're going to be doing is basically putting it through its paces, getting everything running, uh, on our prototype ECU and in exchange uh, for dyno time, uh, they're going to be doing on-track testing for us. Uh, what we're trying to do is get a bunch of hours on these new prototypes uh, before we release them to beta testers, to our dealers, and then once the dealers give us a thumbs up, uh, then they'll be, well, released to you guys for use in your own projects. So, unfortunately, of course, like all Mustangs, this one is really, really loud, kind of like the Coyote was. So because of that, we're not gonna be able to get great audio while we're on the dyno here. So I'm gonna do my best to explain what it is that we're doing, and then uh, we'll make the changes and we'll you know, show how they affect the vehicle. I'm not going to be doing a complete retune on this on camera um, as a matter of fact you guys caught me in the middle of it i already got up to 3000 rpm steady state but the goal here is i'm going to show you how i tackle some of the ramp pulls for power production on a vehicle like this that's that's quite rowdy maybe we'll touch on some of the idle issues that a car with a, a cam this rowdy typically has how to get a smooth idle drop and then we're going to talk about acceleration enrichment before the vehicle leaves our care. Now, that said, I'm going to do all of it on dyno, including the acceleration enrichment. And some of that is going to have to be tweaked trackside. No matter what, when you're on dyno, you're going to get really close, but you have to do those final tweaks trackside. It's a requirement. Um, it's just to make sure that everything's really dialed in in a real world environment with real track temperatures, without the hood open, without fans blowing on everything, providing you decent air. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. And um, let's all make sure we're wearing our earmuffs on the dyno. All right, let's go ahead and get started.
Now, one of the important things to note is that even though you can see I have higher numbers here than here, when I started this, uh, the coolant temperatures were much lower. Uh, because the coolant temperatures were lower, some of the other modifiers, such as coolant temp modifier and air temp modifier, they're going to be affecting the tune differently. Um, that means that really I'm trying to get heat into this while also working through this because I do have a very limited amount of time to get this done. Um, we're very, almost never going to be down at these 1500 RPM ranges on track. However, I want to make sure that they're fleshed out properly. That's going to give us really great drivability around the paddock. With that said, once I'm fully warmed up, I'll lower my steady state tuning back down to these values just to re-verify fuel. That's really important because we, we want to make sure that um, even though we're doing the tuning uh, quickly, we want to make sure that you know before we get out there, uh, these areas that are really difficult to hit or will otherwise give you a lot of trouble um, with the vehicle in motion to tune through, and we want to make sure we get those while, while the vehicle's on the dyno. 